Hi guys, so today we're gonna make like an extra video just about some role game that is included in Life is Strange Before the Storm where we'll play Barb the Barbarian. You'll see it's quite funny. I hope you enjoyed this one. Dream life of a real life. That's my motto. You should join our game. Here's a character sheet. You are an elf barbarian. I'm totally an elf barbarian. Nice. I could totally see myself as an elf barbarian. You were both famous heroes in the kingdom of Avernon, a once peaceful land, now laid to waste by the warlord leader, Durgaron, the Unscarred. I am Elama, <laughs> wizard of the Third Circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Avernon. I'm an elf barbarian named... Let's say Barb. Barb. <laughs> Makes no, sense. No, 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 no. Give Barb a chance, okay? I taught your precious King Tiberius everything he knows about fighting. Elamon bows deeply. <laughs> I've heard of you. Bows castle. deeply. King Tiberius owes you his life. You stand <laughs> at a three way crossing. To your left, the raiders' training ground. To your right, their prison camp. Straight ahead, an enormous, ostentatious tent that could only belong to Durgaron. The unscarred. Where do you wish to go? Let's say the training ground. Loot sounds good. Let's go to the training ground. Arriving at the training ground, you are spotted by a heavy set orc who immediately shouts and points. There are a dozen raiders on the training field, all of whom raise their weapons and charge. I cast Urgle's acid blast. Conjure up a wave of acid that washes over the charging orcs. Every raider suddenly starts screaming and writhing in pain. The heavy set orc sergeant still remains. He runs at you, swinging a massive warhammer. Fatal cleave. Okay, let's end this. Fatal cleave. You swing your great axe downward with both hands. The orc blinks, then splits open like a hot dog bun. Yes. Fuck yeah! What about the loot? As the training ground is now a roiling pit of acid, it's unlikely any loot survived. No. Don't worry. We all make mistakes. Alamon guy. We all make mistakes. Barb, the elf <laughs> barbarian, is most wise. <laughs> Barb. Okay, we need the prison camp Guess then. It's time to free some Because we need some loot. Let's go to the prison camp. Only a small, elderly dragonkin is keeping watch. He notices you and, in terror, runs into one of the few empty cages and locks himself in. Okay, let's pick the lock. It says here I can pick locks. You spend a long time trying to pick the lock, but don't accomplish anything. The dragonkin makes an obscene gesture at what you can only assume are his genitals. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> LOL. Intimidate. I want the little bastard to shit his pants. What do you say? I said... Meat puppet. I wiggle my hand. Hey, dragonkin guy. Want to become my meat puppet? How it works is I shove my arm up your ass <laughs> into your head and then I can control your mouth from the inside to say things. Please don't harm me, tall one, but I cannot give you key. Durgaron, much taller and meaner than you. Then I'm going to turn your skin into a little leather handbag that I'll shove your skinless body into so I can Man, carry it around rough. with me wherever I go. The next time some asshat refuses to give me a key I want, I can pull your body out and show them what happens. Uh, wow. That was nuts. Hands trembling. It hands you the keys. Now. It's tent time. It's you time. enter the tent to find Durgaron, warlord of the raiders of the Black Well. He's a huge red-eyed minotaur, swathed in a fine black cloak, gripping a two-handed sword that's easily six feet long. Your deeds here mean nothing. Your kingdom was weak. You are weak. I cast Zael's cataclysmic cone of fire. Durgaron laughs again, holding up his right arm to show off his bracer of fire immunity. Shit. No. All of my battle spells are fire-based. Wrathful Rush. What's Wrathful Rush? You scream with wrathful rage, then charge. Durgaron is caught off guard, and he fails to dodge. I want to punch that stupid punch. man cow in the dick. <laughs> like right in the dick <laughs> right in the dick <laughs> <You missed. laughs> wow.
Durgron burst out laughing as you stumble <laughs> past him. I guess it's my final move. Annihilation strike. Oh, holy shit! Uh, annihilation strike. One? That's <laughs> bad, right? You trip on a rock, collapsing onto the no. ground in a clangy jumble of metal. Your axe swings wildly to the side. Your axe strikes Elamon's leg. Shit. Um, legs. Plural. Severing both feet at the ankles. Urgeron <laughs> approaches, stomping his bloody hooves. Stomp. This is all my fault. Stomp. Sort of. Stomp. What should I do? He's gonna die. Jump in front right. of Elamon. Jump in front of Elamon. He charges, thrusting madly with his great sword. Shit! Oh no. Durgeron laughs as he impales you on his blade. It hurts like hell. What do you do? Swing for his arm. I bring my axe down onto his arm. The one with the fire bracer thingy. Oh, brilliant. You'll have to roll high to hit. 20! Fuck yes! Bring your axe down in a wicked chop. His bracer of fire immunity clangs to the ground. I cast Gignomi's Fire Strike of Flame. Oh, snap! You conjure a flaming spear, which flies from your hands to spear Durgeron in the chest, incinerating him completely from the inside out. Durgeron is defeated, but your wounds were too great. I'm afraid we won, at Barb least. is dead. No. Better to have died a hero than live as a coward. That's right. That's it for the barbarian experience. It was kind of wild, but I enjoyed it because we were really into it by the end of it. I hope you enjoyed this extra episode and tell me if you want more of these bonuses. And I'll see you in the next episode.